is configured to mine for the correct pool. Then plug in your micro USB power adapter and ethernet cable. Once completed, connect your AUC3 to your miner using the AUC3 cable, and then to the controller using the micro USB to USB cable. In order to run more than one miner on a single AUC3, you'll need an additional AUC3 cable to connect the main miner to the additional miner, then another AUC3 cable from that linked miner to the next, and so on and so forth. The AUC3 will blink one of four colors, each with its own meaning. Now connect eight of the six pin plugs from your power supply unit to your miner. Remember, your power supply unit must have a max wattage output, meeting or exceeding the miner's power consumption wattage in order for the miner to run. The power supply unit typically does not come with a power cord. Once the power supply unit is plugged in, the startup procedure begins. This may take five to 10 minutes depending on the miner and setup. Here you can see with a 93% efficient power supply at 117.9 volts, it is consuming 1,238 watts. The hashing rate can be monitored here on the Avalon Controllers dashboard.